Good morning everyone. Uh, well, you find me outside and this behind me is not a cage by the way, it is obviously just the gates <laughs> around the courtyard. Um, I was hoping to do something for the, the gospel which is uh, Jesus uh, using the words feed my sheep when he's speaking to Peter. Um, but we haven't got any sheep around here. Um, I, I did see some monkeys but they didn't have any particular interest in being filmed. Something about actors union or something, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, here we are, Friday morning, and we're encountering the Gospel in chapter 21, which is the last uh, chapter of John's Gospel. And uh, Jesus says to, to Peter, and he says this three times, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Now, there's something that should ring a bell for us there, and that is that at the beginning of John's Gospel, um, that Jesus said to Peter, um, Simon, you are Peter, you are rock. And in other words, he gave him the new name, Peter. And we find that Jesus actually uses those words at the beginning of calling Peter and then right at the end uh, when he's about to leave him. Throughout the Gospel of John, we find that most often uh, Jesus is referred to as Simon, but he is also referred to as Peter. So I'm not sure if it uh, was the writer who, who, who couldn't get things right or whether Jesus himself was just uh, switching between the two. Uh, using perhaps the, the more familiar name or the name that he had given him. So um, Jesus says to him, feed my sheep. You know, in his response, yeah, Peter, do you love me? Or Simon, do you love me? And, and, and of course he said, yes, Lord, I do. You know, and in each of the cases, Jesus responds with the kind of the terminology, feed my sheep. Now, it's, it's interesting that we are considered to be sheep. We're considered to be part of the flock. We are considered to be the chosen ones of, of Jesus. Uh, if we have a look at the nature of sheep, they, they, they're an interesting bunch. They tend to wander around just chewing on grass and not showing much interest. But sheep follow the shepherd. They're not herded. You know, cows, for example, would be herded. The, cow, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the driver would, become, would come behind them driving the cows and would force them to move on. And that's why uh, often you'll find that the strategy for gathering together cows is more sort of a group strategy. You'll find people uh, around the back of them making sure they go in the right direction. As far as sheep are, sheep are concerned, the, the sheepdog often just gets them moving. Uh, and, but it's the shepherd who's out in the front and they come to the shepherd. But sheep know their own shepherd and they do come to them. And we find ourselves then being the sheep of Jesus Christ and we want to ask, should ask ourselves the question, do we know our master? Do we know his voice? And how do we respond to it? You have a wonderful day. We'll see you again. God bless. Bye-bye.